I'm sitting in a classroom, which I think is indicative of, of maybe the whole Light of Christ capital campaign. Because for over the last five years, we've been creating a vision for where we want to head, a vision for finding spaces for our students as we were experiencing growth. And um, it's, it's turned out to be a masterpiece. I'm walking the new halls at St. Anne's School, and what a transformation. Lights, paint, carpet, and behind me, the addition of seven classrooms. What a gift this new addition has been to our entire school community, to the students here, to the teachers, um, to the families. Um, a lot of work and um, intentional planning went into this. In addition to the, the seven classrooms and the hallway, um, an art room and, and a library that you know are, are, are just beautiful places for our students to be where they can read, where they can do research, and, and where they can be creative. So, um, you know, what, what a transformation, what a, what, what, a, what a gift. Really, when we look at what's been accomplished in the last five years, um, the efforts of everybody to, to create 200,000 square feet, to add the addition at St. Mary's, to do the renovation at the now St. Mary's Academy, and, and, the, and the improvements at Cathedral. And, and then the high school, um, that, was, um, that, was a, that was a lofty goal and, and now it's, it's reality and thank you to you for helping with that. Just wanted to give you a quick update and a look inside Our Lady of Victory Chapel. You can see that the scaffolding is still in place, obviously it will be for a while, but behind the scaffolding and above the scaffolding, you'll see some of the intricate work that's being done of the, the artwork and uh, the wood that is going on the pillars. And uh, this is a really exciting period because this is, this is the necessary prep work and I'm getting ready for the art and things like that. So um, this obviously is the um, special project, um, the gift to the school, the gift to our students, the gift to our community. For me, capital campaign number 61, which you're gonna get this in, um, this is the culmination of of so many efforts and so many prayers and, and so much generosity. So again, thank you for that. But I want to also address one other key issue. Thank God for allowing us to create almost all of this before the, before the COVID closure of last spring. Um, imagine trying to build um, from the ground up, you know, the beginning, and in, in, during those during those circumstances, it would have been impossible, and it would have been literally um, a miracle to be able to bring students back had we not had this additional space. These spaces um, have made this year possible and a reality. Two hundred thousand square feet for our students that we did not otherwise have um, made it possible to bring our students back five days a week, to bring them back face to face bring them back to Christ at our schools, to bring them back to their teachers, to bring them back to their administrators, and bring them back to this community. Um, this, is, this is a historic achievement for the legacy of Catholic educa education that has spanned for 142 years. Um, this is significant, this is huge, this is big, and uh, we need to celebrate that. So, um, yes, COVID has given us a great challenge, um, but we were we beat the storm and because of that our students have places to be right now in, in rooms like this um, sitting in chairs sitting at tables and, um, and being able to create. One of the great privileges of the Keep the Promise campaign is to thanking people for the generosity. I want to share a special story with you. This week I had the honor of writing to a fifth grade student thanking her for her $55 donation from her lemonade stand to the capital campaign. Wow, um, that, that touched the heart, and it touched my mind, and, um, and I'm, I'm hoping that it is an example to all of us that um, giving is important. Construction has been marvelous. Construction is, is completed for the, for the additions and for the, and for the high school, and that's great, but the work still continues, and um, we ask you, I ask you, to, um, to consider your generosity, and to, um, to be a part of the Keep the Promise campaign.
it was God's timing that um, that really accomplished so much in five years and it was God's timing to be able to get us into these schools um, because we had the space now we have the space and um, that wouldn't have been the case had we not started with with such extreme diligence and intentionality and um, you know like I said before you know we created something and, and, and it is a masterpiece and it is it is, I'm not even sure how to say it. Um, God was watching out for us and our Blessed Mother was praying for us. And, um, you know, that's a combination that, um, you know, that's the game plan that you, you can't account for. Yeah, I think Capital Campaign 61 is, um, is, is gonna be my favorite. So thank you and let's all celebrate this together.